Welcome to Travel Secrets Mexico. Today, we're reporting from Mazatlan. Mazatlan is located on the Mexican Gold Coast in the southern part of the state of Sinaloa. It is the second most important city after the state's capital. Mazatlan is the only Mexican colonial city on the beach and a fabulous destination to experience the real Mexico. It is also a diverse city with a population of about 400,000 people. Mazatlan is very attractive for Americans, Canadians, and Europeans as a place to retire because it has a lot to offer. Mazatlan has an international airport that receives travelers from all major cities in the U.S. and Canada. It takes only two hours and 30 minutes from Los Angeles to get to this fascinating region of Mexico. In 2011, Mazatlan's tourism dropped off because several cruise lines stopped coming. They cited safety and security issues near the port. Carnival Cruise Lines called the decision a precautionary measure, noting that there have been no incidents involving cruise passengers. Well, since then, the state and municipal governments have implemented a series of security measures and invested $3 million to improve the visitor experience. Three cruise lines will return in the fall and winter season, and several airlines have increased flights to Mazatlan. We asked the Secretary of Tourism about the safety situation. It hurts us when people uh, try to uh, or say that uh, Mazatlan is, is, is unsafe. Mazatlan has always been one of the safest tourism destinations in the world. In the last years, we haven't had any incidents against tourists. Uh, we like our tourists, we want them here, we take care of them, and uh, we hope that uh, they'll be, keep coming time and time again. We have over 20,000 Americans and Canadians that live here, and the main reason they live here is because it's a safe, beautiful place to be. The recent changes have quieted fears and tourists are coming back. The city just had its best spring season ever and expects a record-breaking winter season according to Tourism Bureau statistics. In a couple weeks we're going to inaugurate the Mazatlan Durango Highway. We're looking forward to it for various reasons. First of all, it's going to put us seven hours from the Texan border and open up Mazatlan to a market of about 12 million Mexicans and for about 40 million Americans within a driving distance, within a day's driving distance. We're very happy uh, with that and we think that's going to revolutionize our tourism. Right now uh, we have around 35,000 cars that come uh, using that in the highway and uh, the Secretary of Communication and Transportation tells us that number is going to increase about 250,000. And so it's going to make a big difference for our tourism, our national tourism and our international tourists that want to come by car. The bridge, well actually the whole highway with its 63 tunnels and 70 bridges uh, is a feat of human engineering. It's beautiful. It's a tourist destination in itself. The main bridge uh, hangs 403 meters high. Just so that you have an idea, the Eiffel Tower fits under it and still you'll have about 200 feet left over. And uh, it's just a beautiful sight to see. It's, a lot, it's, the, it's the highest self-hanging bridge in the world, according to Guinness. Mazatlan has more than 20 miles of golden sand beaches, several islands, blue lagoons, and spectacular sunsets. That's why it's called the Pearl of the Pacific. Mazatlan is located about the same latitude as Hawaii and enjoys a temperate climate most of the year, with water temperatures rarely going below 70 degrees. Over the last decade, the city has quietly evolved into a uniquely authentic destination. A place for travelers, not tourists. It offers all the modern accoutrements of a resort town. But dig a little deeper, and the city reveals a genuine glimpse into the heart of Mexican culture, a side rarely seen in the more well-known vacation hotspots. 
While Mazatlan is indeed a major tourist destination, it's not an artificial mega-resort designed by the government specifically for foreign vacationers. Mazatlan is a real Mexican city. Old Mazatlan is far enough away from the tourist area to maintain its authentic charm. Here, you can relax at one of the sidewalk cafes surrounding the lush tropical Plaza Muchado and watch life go on at a slower pace around the gazebo bandstand. Old Mazatlan is only a short ride away on one of the incredibly inexpensive public buses or one of the fun Pulmanias, the open-air taxis that are unique to the city and so popular they get their own monument on the Malacan. A fair amount of the vacationers who visit Mazatlan are Mexican nationals from the interior cities. There is also excess capacity in tourist facilities most of the year. These two factors help keep prices down and competition for tourist dollars and pesos fierce. Except during Carnival, when the whole world converges on what is said to be the third largest Mardi Gras celebration in the world. Mazatlan is recognized as one of the best places in Mexico to go surfing. It has several beaches and point breaks. The 2011 Quicksilver Surfing Tournament was held in Mazatlan, a competition that attracts top surfers from all over the world. Best of all, the waves here are not crowded as they often are in other places. The waters around Mazatlan are also known for the most exciting sport fishing in the world. If you want to land a monster sailfish, tuna or marlin, you can turn your dreams into a reality. Oh, a big one! There are several ocean fishing operators available. Most of them encourage catch and release. The fleets are located in the new Marina Mazatlan, except the Ares fleet. Marina El Cid is the home of the Ares fleet. Welcome to Marina El Cid and the Ares Sport Fishing Fleet, one of the best fishing fleets in Mexico. We have nine cruisers and we have three pangas that we use full year to go deep sea fishing and bottom fishing. We use the cruisers to catch marlin, sailfish, dorados, tunas, and we use the, the small boats, the super pangas, to catch bottom fishing, and we catch a lot of red snappers, groupers, and all kinds of fish that are very exciting for the families they visit us in here. So we invite you to come and use our fleet. You will love to fish in Mazatlan, one of the greatest places in Mexico. But deep sea fishing is not the only reason why sport fishermen from all over the world come to Mazatlan. Freshwater bass fishing at Lake El Salto attracts many of them. Lake El Salto is located in the foothills of the Sierra Madre Mountains. The lake was built on the Ilota River and spans more than 27,000 acres during the rainy season. El Salto is the most famous bass fishing lake in the world. This reputation is due to the thousands of huge bass that have been caught and released back into the lake by Americans and Canadians. If you prefer to eat the fish and let the professional fishermen do the work of catching, head down to the fish and shrimp markets for a look at what's fresh from the ocean. Mazatlan is known as the shrimp capital of the world. It holds the world record for the largest shrimp cocktail. 80 local chefs concocted a shrimp cocktail weighing an incredible 1,187 pounds. There is an amazing selection of excellent seafood restaurants in Mazatlan. Feast on fresh shrimp and fish for an authentic taste of Mazatlan's cuisine and culture while planning your next day's getaway. A short boat trip on board the 50-foot trimaran Colonaje brings you to Deer Island, the biggest of Mazatlan's beautiful and secluded coastal islands. 
Deer Island is a nature reserve that UNESCO has declared a World Heritage Site. This is one of the best tours on the Mexican Riviera because you can experience great snorkeling at the Deer Island Reef, enjoy kayaking, take banana boat rides, swim, or just relax in a hammock. If you are the more adventurous type, you can drive your own speedboat and explore the bay, the white rocks, the lighthouse, the sea lion colony, or cruise through one of Mexico's largest marinas and admire the spectacular homes. The next day, walk through history and discover the Mexican rural lifestyle. When you come to visit Mazatlan, come to visit Sinaloa, don't miss to come to visit us, visit El Quelite. El Quelite is a very uh, lovely town. It's a very colorful town that you can admire all the architecture of the old houses all the old time. And you can come to taste the gastronomy of this town that is very excellent. It's for all the uh, recipes of our grand grandmothers. This is countryside life. You will love it when you come with your family. This is a very excellent entertainment. After a delightful visit at a place of legendary beauty and experiencing the authentic Mexican lifestyle and the distinctive country charm, the tour bus brings you back to your hotel. We approached Mazatlan on our sailboat, coming from La Paz, and stayed at the El Cid Marina Beach Hotel and Yacht Club with its own world-class marina. Marina El Cid is a full-service marina. We have beautiful docks with water, electricity. We have a fuel-service dock. We have a, 110 slips, and also all our guests, they can use oral facilities. We have a beach club right in front of the marina. We have restaurants, we have bars, we have tennis courses, we have a golf course, swimming pools. So if you are in Marina El Cid, or you have your boat dock at Marina El Cid, you're able to use all our services. The El Cid Marina Beach Hotel is only minutes away from the cultural epicenter of the Golden Zone. This is not a typical resort, but an experience in a class by itself. The hotel offers two freshwater swimming pools with a swim-up bar, poolside snack bar, and an excellent restaurant overlooking the marina. On the other side of the marina entrance is the El Cid Beach Club, a free water taxi takes you across to enjoy the private beach and a spectacular sunset. But the best part of the all-inclusive stay at the El Cid Marina Beach Hotel is that you have access to the nearby El Cid Castilla Beach, El Cid El Moro Beach, and El Cid Granada Resorts, plus the Country Club. A free shuttle connects guests with all four El Cid properties. Vacationers can have fun in the sun. Play tennis. Get a workout at the newly renovated fitness center take dancing lessons. Enjoy a massage or learn to play golf at the city's premier 27-hole PGA Championship course. In the evening, you can have a romantic dinner in one of the oceanfront restaurants. Or, dive into the bustling nightlife at Valentino's, Mazatlan's most popular disco club in Fiesta Land. If you prefer sea life over nightlife, you can participate in a turtle release tour. For a few months each year, Olive Ridley sea turtles come ashore on Mexico's Pacific coast to lay their eggs in the sand. In an effort to save the species, eggs are collected, incubated, and then released. For over 23 years, the Mazatlan Aquarium Sea Turtle Conservation Program has protected more than 6,000 nests 
and liberated almost 400,000 hatchlings. Between the months of August and December, the sea turtle eggs that have been buried in the protective nurseries along the coast began to hatch. Students, locals, and tourists released the baby turtles, and they began their incredible ocean journey. It takes 11 to 30 years before the female turtles return to this exact beach to lay their eggs. Share in this awesome experience with your friends and family. Sea turtles are endangered, and participating in conservation tourism contributes to local efforts to protect the earth and its wonders. If you're looking for a taste of real Mexican culture, tradition, and music, look no farther. Mexican Fiesta, a magnificent dinner show at the El Cid Granada Patio Terrace, brings real Mexico to life. This delightful journey through Mexican culture is for the whole family to enjoy. First, you spice up your life with authentic Mexican food from the many regions of the country. While dining, get your head straightened out. This is an old Mexican ritual, not a chiropractic treatment. <laughs> Then, you watch the mariachi band and the colorful costumes of dancers as you get the feel for the multiple cultures that make up this great country. The exciting performance by the fire dancers is always a high point of the evening. figure out why the dancer does not get burned. Another peak of the program is the incredible voice of Oscar Gomez. The fiesta ends with a firework. That does not mean that you have to leave. There is always time to check out the handmade treasures of local artists or watch a painter at work. This is truly a great family evening. Mazatlan distinguishes itself from the rest of the Mexican beach destinations because of its rich history and because it's a city concerned about itself and its culture. This extraordinary combination of beautiful beaches and awesome natural attractions, together with a truly preserved historical center, a variety of cultural events, and the warm hospitality of its people, gives Mazatlan a unique balance of colonial-like atmosphere and golden beaches. Mazatlan enjoys a healthy and stable economy that is anchored by a variety of industries. The city is a major player in fisheries and accounts for a significant portion of Mexico's shrimp industry. Other leading products of Mazatlan's strong economy include the world-renowned Pacifico beer, El Marino coffee, and 
Latin America's largest tuna processing plant. In the heart of Old Mazatlan is the beautiful 19th century cathedral with its high-rising towers. Facing Plaza de Revolucion where time seemingly stands still and the word stress has no meaning among locals and tourists alike. Every year on September 15th, this place turns into a big party ground. Mexico celebrates Independence Day and hundreds of locals and tourists fills the Plaza Republica in front of City Hall. They watch several performers on a big mariachi group and wait until the mayor brings the flag out on the balcony and delivers the grito, the shout, Viva Mexico! Then, a terrific fireworks display starts next to the cathedral. Many young people and groups of adults continue to party in the nearby Plaza Machado until early in the morning. The next day, the Independence Day Parade starts at 9 a.m. at the Fisherman's Monument. It includes marching bands, members of the military, and school kids dressed up. It's a two-hour parade with more than 3,000 participants. After the parade, we asked the mayor about the safety and security situation in Mazatlan. Bueno, esta es mi tercera vez que soy presidente municipal. This is my third time as mayor of Mazatlan, and my experience allowed me to make it a better place for everyone who wants to come and enjoy peace and harmony. Tranquilidad y con paz la ciudad. No estamos exentos de no tener problemas, como todas las ciudades del mundo y en todas las regiones. Of course, the city has issues like any other city in the world. But today, Mazatlan is the safest beach city in Mexico. Que sumado los esfuerzos de una autoridad local que es el municipio, podemos ofrecer condiciones de paz y tranquilidad para que. Thanks to the support of the governor of Sinaloa and local authorities, we can offer our visitors a peaceful and safe environment. Sino que aquí se van a quedar a vivir. Ese es el reto que los invito a conocer Mazatlan. It is our goal that they leave with sweet memories and return not as tourists, but as locals. It is my pleasure to invite you to get to know Mazatlan. And when you decide to live in our city, we will not only welcome you with open arms, but we'll give you a key, a key that will open the hearts of its residents. A vacation in Mazatlan is not complete without a visit to the city's historic center. Located just off the Plaza Machado is the crown jewel of Mazatlan Centro Historico, the Anjara Peralta Theater. After five years of hard work, the restored and modernized theater once again became the center of spectacular performances with talent from all over the world. We asked Raul Rico about the cultural scene in Mazatlan. Raul, how important are English-speaking tourists and expats for your province? Oh, terribly important. They are the audience. But uh, when we are preparing the programmation of the following festival, we are always thinking what the American and Canadian audience will be looking for. So we, we do a mixture of uh, our own roots and new pro international proposals. So it's a global festival. For example, in, in opera, we have all with subtitles in Spanish and English. So we always are thinking in the English-speaking community. Mazatlan has many beautiful beaches that cater to a variety of different visitors. There are beaches for people who want to relax, and even surfers and divers. The water is warm year-round, and at low tide, the beach stretches past 150 feet. The beaches in the south are great if you plan on being more active while catching a tan. 
During the week of Semana Santa, the Easter week, Mazatlan is flooded with Mexican tourists from all over the country who come to the beach to escape the heat. The miles of beach are literally jam-packed for the entire week. The atmosphere is wild and you can have a lot of fun. Every year, motorcycle fans gear up for five days of high-octane fun and adventure along Mexico's golden Pacific coast. Mazatlan hosts the annual International Motorcycle Week. This event draws more than 300,000 bikers and spectators from North America and Mexico to Mazatlan. As you can see, Mazatlan has a lot to offer. There are many family-oriented activities as well as great places to visit around the city. But the best of all is the natural beauty of the Sea of Cortez, the friendly and welcoming Mexicans, and the year-round mild weather. suerte que en el mundo encuentre más de lo que busque que nada te sea en vano que tus sueños se te vuelvan realidad que tu vida sea grande y que todo lo que anhelas se te cumpla que el amor nunca te falte siempre mires adelante y nunca atrás Que nunca te falte el aire. Que nunca te falte el aire. Que nunca te falte el aire. 